It is a pleasure to welcome you talking baseball for the first time because the players agreed today to a new deal. The owners just recently ratified it. Baseball is back, Jack, not only in 2022, but for five more years and a full 162 this year. It's a reason to celebrate, Bob, because baseball is with us every day. We watch the games, we talk about baseball, and there's been a void for more than three months as we have wondered about the status of the 2022 season. So now we can celebrate, now we can say it's a relief. We know we are going to get baseball. And how did we get to this point? Hundreds and hundreds of hours of negotiations, collectively bargained, the owners and the players. And when you talk about getting to this point, both sides had to give a little bit. A negotiation like this should sting. But what do we get out of it? 162-game season. That's important. You're going to get a full season. And the season will start a week later, but they will make up those games. And, Bob, when I think about this, I compare this to... You have a month-long vacation planned in Hawaii. You're going to meet all your friends there. And on your way to that trip, your connecting flight gets canceled. The hotel doesn't have your reservation. Maybe the rental car gets messed up. But when you get on that beach in Hawaii and all of your friends are there and you can celebrate and party, you forget about all of those other things. I think that's the way baseball fans are feeling right now. They know they have a baseball season. They're not going to worry about everything that happened leading up to this. All right, with that positive vibe in mind, let's bring in Michael Kay. And Michael, it is interesting throughout all these negotiations, and especially over the last, let's say, 48, 72 hours, there was a lot of frustration and a lot of things going on. But that wave of frustration today when the players said yes turned into this tidal wave of appreciation and positive vibes for baseball. And I think that's a really important thing that has to happen here because the bottom line is this. You do not want either side to get clobbered because it's like making a trade. A GM doesn't really want to have a terrible trade for the other team because they'll never trade with them again. It's so important. It's so imperative for baseball. The, the players got some of what they wanted. The owners kept what they wanted, some of the framework as well. I think some moves for the betterment of the game happen. We need both sides to work together. And I don't think that either side is so ticked off that they're going to be angry for these five years and looking forward to the next CBA. I think both sides got enough that they could come away feeling pretty good about things and now work together to grow the game. That's the most important thing. Don't be at odds with each other. Don't be at loggerheads with each other. Be together. Move together. Work together and make sure that baseball will grow. I think that could come out of this.